My name is Candice and I'm a fourth year student at the University of Toronto. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can extract DNA from strawberries using household ingredients. DNA is essentially the blueprints of all living organisms. It tells us all the interesting characteristics there is to know about anything. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to take the cells within the strawberries, burst them, and release the DNA from it. Cells are kind of like water balloons. They're inside something called a cell membrane, which would be the balloon. And we're going to use household products to burst that balloon so the water and the DNA gets released. This is a list of materials you will need. So the first step is to add about one to three strawberries within a plastic bag and mash it up. This is the fun part, so just make sure that the Ziploc bag is completely sealed so no contents come out. And now we get to mash. Like balloons, cells stick to one another. By mashing the strawberries, we're able to separate the cells inside. What we're going to be doing next is adding a lysis solution into the bag full of the mashed strawberries. A lysis solution is essentially going to break the balloon of the cells, which is the cell membrane, and it's going to burst it so that all the fluid and the DNA can be released from it. So in a lysis solution, we're going to use water. We're going to use half a cup of water. We're going to add detergent, about one to two drops, and you can use laundry detergent, soap detergent, or even shampoo and then about half a teaspoon of salt. Make sure the bag is tightly sealed. And then you're just gonna mix it all together. So now the strawberry cells are in what we call a solution. So we have to filter it out because there's a lot of still large particles of the strawberries still within the bag. So we're gonna take a coffee filter and place it in a cup and we're gonna filter out the large particles. Now make sure that you gently hold the filter and allow all the liquid to come out. Don't squeeze on it too hard, it could break the filter and allow a lot of the salts to just go right back into the solution. So within this cup, we have all the liquid and the DNA within the cell of the strawberry. And what we're gonna do is precipitate it out, which means pull out the DNA so that it can clump together and form a layer on the top. And we can do this by adding alcohol, rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. And 70% or 90% will do. This can be found in your first aid kits at home. And you're gonna slowly pour it so that it sits at the top and you'll immediately see a change in color within the liquid in this cup. So you're gonna add about equal parts to the liquid that you already had in this cup. Slowly. So we're able to see three regions in the cup, the bottom layer being this cloudy region, and that's the extra cell material from the strawberries. Then we have this clear region over here, and that's the alcohol that we've added. And at the very top, you can kind of see a thin layer of translucent, which means see-through, um, grouping of strands, and that's just residing at the top of the cup. And as we see from here, it's the DNA that we were able to extract. And if you like, you're able to push it around. You're even able to remove it from the solution. And you can put it into a plastic bag, which you can freeze, and it will be good for a very, very long time. So you're probably wondering what's the importance of being able to use DNA extraction for anything. Well, it's actually used in a lot of different fields, such as the police task force, where crime scene investigators can take samples of blood, skin, or even saliva, and extract DNA from that to be able to identify various suspects involved in a crime. It's also used for preventive medicine, where DNA is extracted from various viruses and bacteria, 
such as ones involved in cough and cold. And scientists can take that DNA to develop new treatments and better medication that we can use. So that's it for today, guys. Make sure you try this experiment at home and feel free to send us a picture of how much DNA you're able to extract. Give this video a like and subscribe and make sure you check out our next experiment that we release.